Good afternoon. Just speaking. Hi. Hello. Ter- Hi. This Hi. is Steve Dave. I'm a tenant here. Okay. Yes. How can I help you, sir? Well, I just wasn't sure if I was responsible for um, cleaning the carpet or if that was something you guys did there. No, you are responsible for cleaning your own carpet. All right. Okay. Carpet and the staircase? No, the the carpet uh, mostly no. in, in my bedroom and in the hallway. Yes, you are responsible. Are you, are you just moved in, or are you a new resident? Oh no, I've been here for a while. I just my toilet's been broken for a couple months, so I've been peeing in the carpets. You've been peeing in the carpets? Yeah, urinating in the carpets because my toilet's broke. It won't flush anymore. Why didn't you get somebody to fix your toilet? Did you not send a click fix? Uh, oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I, I just, um, it's just more convenient just to... So your toilet is broken and you haven't had it fixed? No, it's been broken for about two months. But it's okay. I've just been peeing in the carpet. But the problem is it's starting to smell in here. So I thought maybe I should get him... No. So, no, no, one second. The carpet is your, your toilet. No, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Car- is, the car- is the toilet fixed now? Oh, no, the toilet's broken. That's why I pee, pee in the carpet. Oh my gosh! How could you do that? Well, okay. you know, but we at, can at have first the toi- we can have the to- we can have the toilet fixed. That should be. Did you not know that you can call for service for that? You can call. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling for service oh. to get my carpets cleaned because they're starting to smell. Okay, no, we don't clean carpet. We we fix your toilet. Oh, can you replace the carpets? Fix your toilet. We cannot replace the carpet. Oh, well, I mean, I'm running out of places. I'm running out of places to to go. Because, you know, I started in just one corner. But then I had to move to a different corner. And then I was just peeing in the middle. And then I had to pee in the hallway carpet. And I'm getting Uh close to the living room. And, you know. Why would you do something? What's your unit number, sir? Uh, F208. F? Yep, F. F like Sam. 208? Uh-huh. Ever since Frank 208? Yep. And now, so your toilet is broken. So you want me to send somebody there to fix your toilet now? I can send him sa- right now. Well, I guess, but no, so actually, ma- mainly I just wanted someone to clean the carpets. Or, or do you guys have a shampooer? I could just shampoo the carpet myself if you have a machine. We don't have a shampooer. We oh. don't have a shampooer. Balls. Okay. No. It's okay. But I, we I, have to fix your toilet because we don't want you to be inconvenienced by the toilet. Oh, it's not an inconvenience. Actually, it's very convenient because I can just kind of stand up and go whenever I want. That's not good, sir. That's not a good... No, I, <laughs> I actually, it's kind of fair. awesome. It's awesome. Like, Sorry? Like, you know, I do a lot of gaming, like, um, and, and I can just kind of whip it out and, and, and pee while I'm gaming. No, that's, it's not, awesome. that's not That's not hygienic. You have to go to the toilet to pee. Well, that's you why I was one... To- being in the floor. That's why I was one to get my, my that, carpet shampooed, is, is so it would be more no, hygienic. No, then you have to do... You can call your... You can call a cleaning... Cup. You can call Sears to clean your carpet. How much does that cost? I'm not sure how much that would cost. Can not you, much, maybe a hundred dollars. Oh, can you check real quick? I'll hold. No, no, not me. You, you, you make that arrangement. Well, you can just call and check. No, no, sir, that's not my responsibility. I'm can, very sorry. I can't do that. It's okay. I can, can I, have your toilet fixed. Can I? That's the, my responsibility. Oh. I make sure that your toilet is fixed. Okay, fine. Do you fine. want me to send my guy now to have your toilet fixed? I guess, but I mean, I've kind of grown accustomed to peeing in the carpets. Also, I'm going to need I'm the number sorry, to... I'm sorry, you cannot... Uh, that's not... That's, you shouldn't be doing that, sir. Can, I'm very sorry. You can't be peeing in your toilet, in your carpet. Can I get the number to Sears real that quick? Is not, sorry? Can I get the number to Sears real quick? I don't have a, a number. Oh, okay. All right. Sears, no. Yeah. Truly. Really. <sighs> okay. All right. So I'll send somebody to fix your toilet, okay? Okay. And um, can you have them bring All a right. bottle of carpet shampoo? Your house will be smelling so bad. It's not that bad. Oh, my God. It doesn't bother me. It's fine. It's okay. It's not a problem. <sighs> okay. All right. So, I'll have somebody fix your toilet, sir. F208, right? Yes. Okay. I'll send him right now. Thank oh, you. Oh, right now? Oh, that'll be great. Well, can you can right you give now. me, like, 10 minutes? I have to put the, the all the mess away and all the drugs. And, okay. And the laboratory. All right. And the experiments. Okay. All right. And okay. I, I have to clean up a little, you know. Two, two minutes? Okay. Yeah, two okay, minutes. Two I, I got to get dressed and stuff, okay. you know. Maybe three. Three minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. You're listening to the Snowplow Show.
Thank you, Shifty Pop, for that intro song. Hey, everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad. This is the show where I tell people stories over the phone, and I see how much of the story they'll listen to before they hang up on me. Sometimes they're even good stories. This one's brought to you by Buster Casey, JT, Rick B, Kuraz, and Mac Euler Degeneration. Or Degeneration, I don't know. God damn it, tell me how to pronounce your name. Those are five of the people supporting the show over at Patreon. There's been a few new people sign up lately, like Cameron, Jason, Mark, Kay, Brianna, and Brandon's dad, Filbert, Fuckburger, Hunter M, and Dirty Syringe. Sounds like a lot of great upstanding people we've got listening. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. If you want to support the show, you get an extra show every single week. And you get access to the archives, like 180 shows or something. I forget how many there are at this point. There's a lot of them. Sorry, the shows have been so scarce this week. As usual, I've been having even more computer problems. I think it was last week or the week before I had to rebuild the asterisk system from scratch. And this week it was a studio computer. Completely reinstalled Windows. I just need to switch to Linux, don't I? That's what I should do. That'll solve all my problems. Switching over to Linux. That's what I'm going to do. I was on Devin's show on Wednesday, June 27th. I think I did the entire three hours with her, and we had some fun. She always gets the weirdest people on her show. She kept calling them back and letting Carol have a word with them. It was a lot of fun. Be sure to listen to that. I will have a link in the show notes at snowplowshow.com, or if you're listening on YouTube, I'll probably put it in the YouTube description. And I was also on her show two days before that. I didn't mean to be on her show that day. I was calling in to yell at her about SpaceX. And next thing I know, I'm on her show for like an hour doing prank calls with her. So if that show is up on her show reel, I will also put that up in the show notes. You can find Devin's show at Mixler.com slash Devin, a new start. But new is spelled in you for some reason. It almost looks like something else. And besides those two things, I also did a hang up the phone show with Carl, Fresno Carl. On Wednesday night, we took some calls. It was much more enjoyable than the previous week because the previous week was when my computer was getting really bad all of a sudden. Also, as long as we're talking about shows that I've been on, I'm going to be on the Super Phone Brothers show on July 4th. They broadcast on Mixler.com slash Prank Call Nation. That's going to be at some point in the morning on July 4th. I don't know exactly what time. I don't think they have an exact schedule, but hopefully I'll be there with them. I think last year I was also on with them right around July 4th. And we were calling up firework tents. I bet we'll do more of that. Or was that two years ago? I can't remember. Let's make some phone calls. Thank you for calling. This is Irene. Hey, Irene. I'm a tenant here. Yes. Um, I needed to let you know, uh, I- I'm going to, this is Dwight, by the way. I'm, I'm going to be having an armed guard at my door from now on. <laughs> okay. So just just so you know, just so you're not concerned about him. He's just... oh, why? What's going on? Oh, no, no, nothing to worry about. Just don't worry about it. Just. Just wanted to let you know, uh, armed guard. <laughs> Why are you having an armed guard? Well, it's it's pretty much none of your business. Um, it's just, you know, it's just personal reasons. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I just wanted to make sure in case somebody's like, I mean, if something has, like, happened as property manager, I just need to know what's go- going on. Uh, d- no, uh, he'll be in uniform and everything. He's from a, uh, um, you know, like a, he's kind of like mall security, but they're allowed to carry oh, okay. Yeah, guns. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then what apartment are you in? I'm in uh, 4804. Oh, okay. 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 This just doesn't sound like Dwight. That's why I was asking. Yeah, it's over the phone. I, I've got a voice changer hooked up. Oh, okay. Huh. It just doesn't sound like Dwight. Yeah, but, you know, I, I, I've got the computer technology. It's changing my voice. Okay. Well, does his wife know about it? <laughs> Um, well, let's just say... Maybe I am his wife. (laughs) Ha ha! Ha! You gay fool! You thought I was a girl? You gay! You gay fool! I'm a chick! Okay, I don't know if that was a good start to today's show or not. That's something that Justin does a lot in his shows, and I guess the Super Phone Brothers do also. They trick people into being gay. It's hilarious when they do it. I guess not so much when I do it, but I tried. Anyway, I think today I'm going to tell landlords that I'm going to have a armed guard at my door from now on. 
Just see how they take that. This Erica. Hey, Erica. I'm a tenant here, and um, I needed to let you know about something. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to be having an armed guard at my door from now on. Okay. And um, I don't think that's allowed. Um, I would possibly have to talk to my um, manager about that. Oh, no, it's fine. He, he's uh, he's registered in, in the state of... You know, he's he's with one of those rent-a-cop places. They do private security. Okay, um, I still believe that you would have to talk to Demi about that. Um, I don't know if that's against the rules here or not. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. I, I just, uh, I, I think I need an armed guard at the door, so it's going to start happening tomorrow. He, he starts his first day tomorrow. Um, okay, be- what's your last name? Uh, it's, it's Torres. This is David Torres. Okay, um, I will let her know. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, well, you know, it's it's not like, like he's not trying to be intimidating or anything. He's just going to be standing there. Uh, there's going to be Yes, three- I know, but we just need to, we need to double check that is okay um, to have on property. Yeah, but there's going to be three different guys. Uh, they're working three different shifts, eight-hour shifts. They're going to be out there 24-7. Okay. okay. Is the manager there? Can I just talk to her? Um, yeah, can you be told? Okay. Thank you for holding. This is Demi. Hey, Demi. It, it's, uh, this is David. Uh, I don't know why she transferred me. I, I just, uh, needed to let you know there's going to be an armed guard outside my door from now on. I hired him from a security company. David who? Torres. Why are we on speaker? I can barely hear you. Sounds like you're on a, a phone from the 60s or something. Sorry, hold on. Let me pick it up. You just hang up on me. Fucking Demi. Development, this is Lacey. How can I help you? Hey, Lacey. Uh, I'm a tenant here. This is Thomas. Um, I just needed to let you know that I'm going to have an armed guard outside my door from now on. Just out, outside my apartment uh, door. Okay. They, the guard told you that you have to let us know that? Well, no, I just thought you'd want to know why there's a, a man, a, an armed man, standing there next to my door all day and all yeah. night. What? A, okay, what apartment are you from? Uh, D49. 49D. Okay. So, in D49, mm-hmm. Yep. we actually have a person not by the name of Tom living there. Yeah, I'm the roommate. You're the roommate that yeah, we do. Are you approved to live there? Oh, I don't know. Yes. I, I, I just, uh, I just pay my rent to him. You but. pay your rent to a person to live there. We have to actually have you approved to be in that apartment, though. Oh well, yeah. That that's that, that's not even why I'm calling. Uh, I just needed to let you know that there's going to be an armed guard at the door. There's going to be three different men. They're all working in shifts. Okay. I, I wouldn't be in the computer, though. I just sleep on the couch. Okay, if you're sleeping on the couch for more than two weeks at a time, though, we just want to make sure that we can get you approved to live there, or to sleep on the couch. Yeah, well, um, sometimes I uh, go away for a week, and then I'll come back for another two weeks. It all works out. Okay, but if you called in to put, like, a maintenance request in, or if you needed a key to the apartment, we couldn't ever give one to you. Like, there's several, there's a lot of things that go into... Yeah. Need to be a pro- you, well, the, yeah. the, the, arm, the armed guards are going to have keys to the apartment, so if I ever get locked out, I'll just ask one of the armed guards. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess what company do they work for? Um, I forget offhand. We, we found them through the yellow pages. It's, you know, just a local security company. Armed guards, and they're just going to be... Okay. They're just going to be standing... I've just never heard of that before. Yep, standing at the door 24-7. Garden, okay. Garden the place. Okay. Um, all right. I I never heard of it before, so I don't know what questions to ask you. <laughs> oh, I don't even I know if there are any. So, um, what's your phone number? Because I have no contact information for you whatsoever. I don't uh, even. Your name's Tom. Uh huh. Yep. Tom. Okay. Uh, it's uh, and f- what's a good phone number? Four two zero 
6969. And does the leaseholder know about this? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. And the leaseholder lives there? Oh, yeah. Most of the time. Okay. Okay. I just, um, right now, this is just going to be like a warning, but in order for you to be there, we need you to be approved. So if you find out that you're living there and you're, you know, not approved to be there, um, that leaseholder can be in uh, subject to like a 1430. Well, no, it's it's fine. I'll, I'll just uh, go stay at my friend's house every 13th day. So I'm never there for two full weeks. I'll stay at Ed's so, house. Since it's going to be so consecutive, technically that's just the same exact <laughs> idea as living there. No, it's fine. Um, no, it's not. It's not. It can't be because technically now he's in. Uh, now he's in disagreement with the lease. Now he's in trouble. Well, You're not in trouble yet because we don't even know who you are. But yeah, I'd be he's going to be with in him. trouble since you just told me that you're living there. So well, no, I'm not living there. I'm just staying on the couch. Yeah, and then you're going to stay there, and you're going to leave, you know, every 13th day, and you're going to do that every yeah, day consecutively. Yeah. I, so I actually have an apartment over in Arkansas. Okay, what's, do you, um, I guess if you're, the leaseholder can provide us that you have a residency somewhere else, that's what we would need. Are photocopies okay? Um, yeah, or that would be fine. Okay, all right, those are easier to doctor. Okay. But I feel like you've been warned, okay? Shh. I'm going to write this down on the file. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Dang it. Thank you for calling the apartment. This is CJ. How may I help you? Hey, CJ. Uh, I'm a tenant here. This is Tyler. Hi. How's hey, it going? Pretty good. Uh, I needed to let you know uh, I'm going to have an armed guard outside my door from now on. Oh. So, uh, you know, just so you're not concerned about it, just so you know, there, there's going to be an armed guard out there. Doing, doing what? Uh, just standing there, guarding guarding the door. Um, Like your apartment door? Uh-huh, yep. Is, is there, like, a reason for it, or...? Uh, just, you know, it's just security. No, no. Um, nothing to concern yourself over. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know, though, because it's going to frighten all the residents and stuff. Oh, no, he'll be very professional. He's from a an armed guard company I found in the Yellow Pages. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm going to have to honestly read through the lease to see. I don't yeah. know. It's yeah, kind but, of iffy. Well, I, I think it'll be fine. There, there's going to be uh, three or four different guys working. Uh, you know, they work in shifts, but they'll be out there 24-7 just standing next to the door. Is this like a security thing? Like, are you yeah. scared? Like, is oh, I'm, I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared of nothing. Mm. But I just figure I'll put them on the first line of defense instead of myself. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I don't know if I can allow it or not. I'm. I'm gonna have to honestly read through the lease. Uh. I. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Under the policies. Yep, he'll they'll be friendly. I, I'm I'm gonna instruct them to be friendly to everyone and say hello, good morning. It's basically right. free free security for the apartment complex. Yeah, but I've also instructed them not to leave their post because uh, right. you know, like if they see someone else's apartment getting broken into, just let it happen because you're there to guard me, not them. Right. Um. I, I don't know. I, honestly, I'm going to have to give you a call back on this one. I, I mean, I'm sure they are very professional and everything, mm -hmm. but, I mean, residents might still be, you know, just, I don't know, because it's not like, you know, just your own house. It's just a multiple uh, family dwelling unit. Yeah, but, you know, it's just there for, uh, just it's just, it's just security, that's all. These are going to be big guys, too, you know, like big muscular guys. With guns? <laughs> yeah, that's just the part that scares me, though, because, I mean, like, oh, I know that they're probably... I, I just really don't know what to tell you at this exact moment. When does this whole thing start? Uh, tonight. The, the the first shift starts tonight at uh, 6 p.m. Mm. And the shift changes at 2, 2 in the morning. And he'll be there till 10 in the morning. How do they, like, get in, though? Uh, I, I'm going to give them all keys. 
Um, that I know I can't allow, though, because only keys that come in and out are supposed to be in the office. Yeah, but this is for security, so it's fine. I don't know. They're not coming in the uh, apartment or anything. They're not even allowed to use the bathroom. Right, but I, I mean, you're just asking to like position an armed person in a communal hallway. Yeah, it's for security. Everyone's going to feel good about it. I don't know. Let me let me read through the lease and I'll give you a call back, okay? Okay, sure, yeah. But, you know, it's happening. Uh, I've already paid for a month. Right, but I, I don't know. It might violate your lease terms. Oh, so. I doubt it. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't just let it, let it be. So let me do my research and I'll give you a call back, okay? Okay, sounds great. Thanks. Uh, Yep, bye. Bye. Well, finally, somebody has a problem with it. I've done a few calls now that I'm sure I'm just going to delete because they're just like, okay, no problem. Thanks for letting us know. It's kind of weird that they don't care. Thank you for calling an apartment. This is Megan. How can I help you? Hey, Megan. Um, I'm a tenant here, and uh, I just wanted to let you know um, I've hired an armed security guard to uh, just stand outside my door. From now on, so there's going to be some. What? Uh, it's just, just for basic, you know, home security. Uh, they're going to be working in shifts, so there'll, there'll be someone out there 24 hours a day, just standing outside my apartment door. Which apartment do you live in? Uh, 153. 153. Yep. Is there? What's What's going on? Uh, uh what nothing what's going on with you i just that's um is that is there someone going to be outside the building or in inside the building or what oh they'll, they'll be just right outside my uh, my apartment door okay is there is there a reason uh just you, that know, you just, decided to do that uh just home security you know the the cable company's what, uh, security wasn't working out for me, so I'm going to try this for a while. The cable company? Well, you know, they offer the home security packages and stuff. Okay. Um, in 153, and um, are you, uh, is there something that you're concerned about? Is there something that I should know about? As oh, a no, 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 nothing like that. Nothing to be concerned about. It's just, just basic home security, that's all. Okay. If, um, what company is it that you've uh, contracted this with? Uh, it's uh, Royco Security. Royco? Uh-huh. Yep. They're very professional. They'll be wearing a uniforms. Okay. And, and they're going to be there all the time when you're home and when they're not home and everything? Yep. 24-7 all the time. Okay. Are, there th are they there now? Could I come over and meet, meet them? Uh, no. The, the first shift starts tonight at 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? Yep, 6 p.m. till 2 a.m. That's when the shift change starts. And uh, Okay. Um, can you spell Royco for me? Uh, R-O-Y-Z. R-O-Y... Yep, R-O-Y-Z. Royco. R-O-Y-Z as in yeah, Zebra? Yeah, th they're in the phone book. Just open up your yellow pages. That you, I'm sure you have sitting right there, and just look in the phone book, Royco Security. You know they they do like building security for uh, corporations and malls and stuff like that. Okay. Both on. Um, is I mean, I just want to. I w I'm I'm concerned because I I want to make sure that you know you are happy living here. Oh yeah, I'm completely happy living here. Everything's fine. It's just this is basic security. Can't be too careful. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you for letting me know. Uh, is there a limit on the size of gun they can uh, stand there with? Probably. What's the limit? I'm not sure. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Jeremy. Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, uh, hang on just a second, Jeremy. Can I put you on hold? Oh, sure. No problem. Okay, hang on just a second. Okay. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. 
Hi, so I don't have you listed as a resident in apartment number 153. Yeah, I just sleep on the couch. You sleep on the couch? Who uh -huh. is the resident that lives in the apartment? Uh, well, I call him Jake. Okay, I'm going to let you go, Jeremy, because I don't believe this. Okay, fine. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Calling Apartments. This is Erica. How can I help you? Hey, Erica. I'm a tenant here. I just have a question. Sure. Um, am I allowed to place laser trip wires um, throughout the property? Like, mostly just outside my door. Are you allowed to do what? I'm sorry. Uh, place laser trip wires. Laser trip wires mm -hmm. um, inside your apartment. Uh, well, there's plenty in there already. I didn't think I had to ask for that one, but um, I want to do. I, I've installed one, or I've installed two outside my door, one on each side, so I know when people are walking by, mm -hmm. and also one by my parking space. I just want to make sure that's okay. Oh, um, I would have to double check and verify that um, because, well, I'm a little confused about your parking space because we don't have assigned parking. Oh, I, I do. If anyone tries to park in my space, they know. I'll, I let them have it. Okay. I'll just, I'll scream my head off at them until they move. Okay, um, do you have like a garage in front? No. But really, that doesn't matter. I okay. just wanted to make sure the, the lasers were fine. If it's out in the hallway, I don't think it should be, um, I, I don't think it's fine because anybody can walk in the hallway, so that's why I'm a little confused. Yeah, but at least I'll um, know they're so there. I would have to double... I'm sorry? Because well, I have a hidden camera out there. So when, when they walk by, the lasers will uh, turn on, you know, like alert the camera to be recording at that time. Because I have, I have a, a couple hidden cameras outside my door. Okay. Um, did you cause damage to the... No. Like the, the hallway or... No, there's no damage. You can't even see it. It's all very streamlined, all like right up against the wall. You don't know it's there unless you're looking for it. Same with the laser trip wires I've installed. Okay, I I would still have to double check with corporate and everything. Um, who am I speaking to? This is Ronald. Ronald, and what apartment are you in? G two. Ronald and G two. Okay. I will definitely double check and get back to you. What's a good phone number to get? Um, four two zero six nine six nine. Six nine six nine. Okay, I will double check with corporate to see if that's okay. Um, I, I'm also going to be walking the building just to make sure that. Um, there's no damage and everything like that. Oh, there's and not. Then I just get had back to you. I just had to drill a hole straight through the wall to install these flush mount uh, lasers along the the floors. Exactly. So that is causing damage. So oh, no, I'm gonna not. have to go yeah. and and I still have to go and investigate. You Either can't way, see I will let you know. Okay. Okay. I've also put proximity sensors at all of my windows, so I know if anyone's trying to look in. Or if anyone's you know standing under the window. Um. Okay. So there's there's proximity sensors out there. I I uh, okay. cause I put those out there, and that that way I was able to take away the bear traps. Bear traps. You know the the things that clamp. I I figured those were dangerous. So I after a while I decided to uh, replace those with proximity sensors. Oh, okay. Um, am I really speaking to Ronald? Yeah, why wouldn't you be? Um, because you don't sound like him. Um, but I, like I said, I can definitely 
go inspect it and then get back to you. W- what do you mean? Um, I, it I don't was sound Ronald like... 420-6969, correct? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's it. Okay. And All right. what do you mean? I, I will what go do you mean? inspect what, 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 what do you mean I don't sound like Ronald, though? You just don't sound like Ronald. I've uh, spoken to Ronald many times when hmm. he comes in, and I was just asking, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I can definitely go in and inspect and then get back to you on, you know, the the sensors and maybe, hey, may, may, and everything. May, maybe, maybe I don't sound like Ronald because I'm his wife, fool. Ha ha. You gay. You gay, fool. I'm Ronald's wife. This is Ronald's wife. You gay. You were, you were talking to a girl the whole time. You gay, fool. Ha ha. I'm sorry. Why are we on speaker? It's um. This is an apartment complex, and this is my job, and this is something serious. Um. If this is a joke, I don't appreciate this. No, it's not a joke. You're actually gay now. You're talking to a girl the whole time. Excuse me, um, is this something like pertaining to apartment G2? Yes or no? Yes, but um, do you have a boyfriend? Because if you do, you're going to have to break up with him. You're gay now. Okay, I'm going to hang up and end this conversation right now because this is a business and I'm not up to jokes. Okay, thank you so much. I'm not joking. You're gay now. That girl is clearly a homophobe. Got all offended when I called her gay. Thanks for calling Village. This is Patty. How can I help you? Hey, Patty. Uh, I'm a tenant here. I just have a question. Sure. Um, w- were there any complaints about me or Kimberly today? I, I live in apartment 3G. As this far is- as? Um, well, do, uh, do you know a tenant named Eric? No, no. I mean, probably have several of them. What apartment are you in? Uh, 3G. 3G? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and what was your name? Joseph. And it's Kimberly, probably under Kimberly. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask Jesse. Um, not, not that I know of, but let me... You want to hold on for a second? Oh, I'll sure. ask her. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Hello. Are you still there? Yeah. Did you mean to call Village Apartments? Uh-huh. Yep. And you live in... 3G. What building? 3G. Well, what's the building number? Uh, 8215. 8215. Number three? Yep. And you said your name was Joseph? Yeah, I wouldn't be on the lease. I just sleep on the couch. You're not on the lease? You just sleep on the couch? Correct, yeah. And who is on the lease? I don't know. Kimberly it, and yeah. you don't know? Well, no, I, I think it's probably under Kimberly because I pay my rent to, well, yeah, I pay my rent to Kimberly. Okay, can you hold on for a second? What for? What are you doing? Hi, this is Jesse. Oh, hey, Jesse. Hi, I'm, so I'm very confused. You you live in 8215 number 3G? Correct, yeah. And you said you pay your rent to a lady named Kim? Kimberly. She didn't like to be Kimberly. called Kim. Okay. Um, well, we don't have any record of either of you living in that apartment. Oh, well, I think she pays her rent to Jerry. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure there's no complaints uh, after the incident that happened this morning. I'm, I can let you go. I'm sorry. I, nope. Um, there's no Jerry that lives there either. I'm, if you are if you are staying there, you need to be applying to have residency there. Oh no, I don't want residency. I'd rather live. Okay, well then you need to you need to leave uh, the no. premises. Well, no, I sleep excuse- on the couch. I paid my rent for the month already. She only got half of an excuse me out before she hung up on me. Creek Apartments is Janice. May I help you? Hey, Janice, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. What can I do for you? Um, well, I'm a tenant here. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just wondering, like, this is David. Were were uh, were there any complaints about me today? 
What's your last name? And what's your address? Uh, it's 14021, apartment one. Um, you live there? Yeah. I mean, uh-huh, yep. You're on the lease? Uh, yeah. You're the brother? Linda's uh, brother? Yeah, yeah, Linda. Uh, not that I know of today. Let me put you on hold. Okay. okay. I just want to make sure because we had a, a bit of an altercation this morning. Sorry. Sir, we thought you left already. Uh, that's just what they, I, I asked her to tell everyone. Okay. So what's the problem? Is um, there a problem? Well, no, no, it's nothing like that. I just, I have laser trip wires set up out in the hallway and so, so we know when people are walking by. You know, just outside the door, I mean. Okay. And uh, I had the intensity set too high on them, and they cut through uh, Frank's pants. Like, just the bottoms. Whose who's pants? I think his name's Frank. He was really angry and yelling at me this morning. I told him I'd buy him. What's new, his new, address? I don't know. I, I we, we see him walk by all well, the time. Well, you really can't have those things out there. No, usually they're fine. Usually you don't even know they're there. It's just I accidentally... Okay. I, I hit the I bumped into the button the knob that turned it up really high and it just cut the bottoms of his pants off you know the the ankle yeah. portion okay was well, as long he hasn't put no complaint in yet so. okay yeah I told him I'd buy him new okay. pants and and I'd okay turn, make sure it's turned down from now on okay sounds good oh, okay <laughs> yeah. um what 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 do you have to go or something no do you have something else you need um. Did I tell you about the pizza oven? Or did, did um, Linda tell you about the pizza oven? No. Not that I know of. Okay. A pizza we, oven. Do we know anything about a pizza oven from Linda? No. No. Okay. We cut into the wall to build a pizza oven out of bricks. In know? the apartment? Yes. You have a brick oven wall in the apartment? Yeah. It's it's nearly finished. Um I, just, I think maybe we should have maintenance come over. No, no, no. Don't invite yourself over. That's rude. No, I'm not doing that. No, I mean, uh, if there's any, I mean, when you leave an apartment, you're supposed to leave it how you found oh, it. Oh, we will. I'm going to take the oven out. I'm going to. Oh, okay. I, I've just, I, I, it's a huge oven. It's made out of bricks and mortar. And, uh, you know, it's like, a, so you can make like brick pizza. Did you just whisper brother? No. Oh, that's um, weird. I th- no, they just want to know who I was talking to, and I said the brother. Oh, okay. Okay, so as long as you can fix it, that would be great. Yep, yep. It's just that um, the floor is starting to sag a little bit because it's so heavy. Well, if there's any damages, you'll be charged once they do a walkthrough. After okay, you know. well, if you have any tenants mm-hmm. that say, uh, you know, like our ceiling's starting to cave in a little bit, that's probably the pizza oven. You mean the people above would be... Their ceiling would be caving? Uh, below. Um, do you think maintenance should come over to check it out? No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. I just wanted to to make sure. Well, we don't want no ceiling floor falling in. No, it's fine. It, it, I'm sure it's... Oh. But, uh, if, if they have any problems, we'll come in there and install a double beam for them or something. Because we figured well. the weight would be fine because we've already covered the entire floor with grass. And that's pretty heavy, with, you know, when you roll you out. grass in the apartment? Yeah, like sod. I've never heard of this. Sod, you know, you roll it. You put it. sod. Where did you tear a wall out? Uh, it's right next to the kitchen. Um, I'm really thinking that management will want to see this before no, you leave. No, it's fine. It's, no, we don't, we, we don't want you coming in because we, we're afraid you're going to, like, have a problem with the sod. Uh, well, it's really awesome. You know, like we're, we we have grass inside. No, the we par- can't have these things. In, you can't do those kind of things without permission from management. You have to uh, ask for accommodation or something when you want to change something in an apartment. Well, we're not changing it. We, sh- we just put plastic down and we put grass down on the floor. So, like, it's, it's like being outdoors. Um. You know, we can walk around barefoot yeah, in the grass. And have, I think probably we'll have, I'll have to tell management everything we've discussed. We have these probably be calling you really bright Linda. heat lamps in the ceiling. I'd install new fixtures in the ceiling for the heat lamps, you know, to keep the grass in the sunshine. 
Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really understanding in your description of this, but you put heat lamps in the ceiling in the apartment? Yeah, it's it's to to keep the grass uh, looking nice and fresh and green. You have grass in the apartment growing. Yeah, and when we water the grass, it, it doesn't go downstairs because we have plastic underneath. Well, you're on first floor. There's no apartment below oh, you. Oh, thank God. Then we probably don't even have to worry about the oven. Are you sure you live here at Apple Creek Apartments? Of course, with Linda. But if you didn't know that you were on first floor... No, I know I'm on the first floor. I thought there was a basement. There's no basement below you. Okay, well, that's a relief. But if you built a brick... They took part of the wall out, correct? And you put a brick oven, pizza Mm -hmm. oven in, and you brought sod and grass for this to be cooking. Well, management's going to have to look at this. Yeah, we have to keep the grass... I'm going to have to tell them. Yeah, we have, have to keep. To tell you can tell them. I just don't want them to come over. But uh, we have to keep the grass green by watering it a lot. Because um, if we have dry grass right next to the pizza oven, then that's a fire hazard. Yeah, it is. So you got to be careful. Um, we know what we're doing. Don't worry. Okay. But we had no complaints on you today. Okay, but what was this ga- guy's name? Frank what? Um, I don't. Does he I, live I, there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He definitely lives With here. He, he drives the blue car. He drives a blue car. But I don't. I don't. But, I'm not sure which apartment. But your laser beams ripped his pants. Yeah, it sliced right through him. Sliced straight through his pants. Yeah. Well, and they're not strong enough to go through hum, human skin. I think they just singed the hair on his legs. Well, I'll be talking to Linda. Okay. Am I going to need to take out the laser beams? Yes. Why? Because you have to. Because w- the, the only reason I'm doing this is so I don't have to have an armed guard you, at the door. You don't need an armed guard at your door. Why not? Your move-out day is approaching here really soon. No, we've You're ro- moving out July 7th in a week. Yeah, right? yeah. I guess I should start disassembling this pizza oven. Yeah, you should start disassembling this. Pulling so up the sod. I think I'm going to really hang up now, and then I'm going to try to call Linda, Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's Okay. Like, we have sand in, on the bedroom floor, like a beach theme. Okay. I am I think we're done right now. Okay? Goodbye. Right, bye. I love that the only thing that clued her in was that I didn't know I was on the first floor. Until then, she's like, oh, lasers slicing through the neighbor's pants. Okay. Sounds plausible. There's actually an idea here in my Tenants from Hell list idea list and i think this is from a couple years ago it's from toilet man ask the landlady if you're allowed to place lasers around your flat which i don't know what he had in mind with that but i finally did it toilet man toilet man also wants me to challenge them to a game of chess to see if i can get next month's rent free hello hello is this the apartment building yes oh okay great you just said hello like it wasn't a business that was weird what did it do? Huh? Oh no! I just uh, you just said hello, like like I called someone's house. Oh yeah. Well, I have a I have a couple different businesses that call the same line. That's why I can't really oh. answer storage or uh, an apartment. You know. So I see. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, so you're looking for an apartment, huh? Oh no! I already live here. Oh, who's this? Uh, this is Clark. Clark. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, this isn't Clark. What do you mean it's not Clark? This isn't Clark. Why are you saying it's not Clark? <laughs> because it's not Clark. Why wouldn't it be Clark? Who is this? All right, I was just kidding. It's Edward. I w- I didn't want to give my real name because um, I was going to ask you if you had any gray paint. I'm painting an optical illusion on the roof. What? It's to disguise the satellite dish. Who is this? This is Edward. Edward who? How many Edwards do you have there? More than one. Okay, well, it's Edward Wallach. I'm in Unit 12. 
All right, who is this? So, um, you know, I have green paint, but I need some gray to kind of lighten it up a little bit so the illusion works. Wow. You don't have any gray paint? Hello? Who is this? Edward! Motherfucker? The fuck it is! It is Quit Edward! fucking around! Don't, don't yell at me, motherfucker! I'll yell at you! All I want is some paint! Well, don't have any, sorry. Okay, that's, that's all you had to say. You don't have to yell at me and accuse me of not being Edward. His being pissed at me was very short-lived. Sheriff's Department, this is Barbara. How can I help you? Hey, Barbara. It's Stephen. I'm a tenant here. Hi, Stephen. What's going on? Um, I was just wondering if you had any uh, brown paint. I'm painting an optical illusion on the roof, and I ran out of brown, like dark brown. Let me hold on one second, okay? Let me go ahead and talk to Michelle. Okay. Hi, Stephen. This is Michelle. Hey. What, what are you um, working on? Oh, I was just painting an optical illusion on the roof to uh, disguise my satellite dish so it's not noticeable. Uh-huh. So is it for here at Village Terrace Apartments? Yep. Yep, I live here. I was just wondering if you might have any uh, happen to have any brown paint. Otherwise, I won't be finished till tomorrow. Oh, I didn't even know you were painting on our property. Oh, yeah. I'm on the roof right now. I'm painting an optical illusion to make the... Which, satellite dish invisible um oh i have no i had how did you get on the roof <laughs> um i got up there with a ladder what company do you work with um well i'm, I'm in between jobs right now but i, I live in apartment one but you're on my roof yeah i live At Terrace. i live here it's my oh. roof okay because you're not allowed to be on our property on the roof that's a liability oh yeah i'll be but down. i don't have brown paint <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it's fine. I'll yeah. just I'll finish it up tomorrow. I'll get up there and okay. finish painting the roof. All right. But it's just it's just so you can't see the satellite dish that I mounted on the roof. Oh. You put I didn't even know you put a satellite dish on the roof. Oh yeah, big one. What is the satellite dish for? Um, it's well, why? Why do you need to know that? No, I'm just saying cuz you're not you're not allowed to put anything on top of our buildings. Oh, and I was unaware that this was happening. Yeah, that's why I'm uh, painting the optical illusion. You won't even be able to see it, so it won't matter. But oh, okay. it, it's just for some uh, communication, faraway communication, encrypted connections. Oh, for your work. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I'm in between jobs okay. right now. All right. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't have any paint, so I just didn't. I was unaware. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, All right, just see. thought I'd check. Okay. Okay, thanks. What's that, what's that noise? Bye. Oh, it was the f another phone ringing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sound, sounded pretty weird. I know. All right, Stephen, you have a good day. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Seems like she should have been asking more questions. Thank you for calling Village Apartments. This is Cassandra speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Cassandra. It's Jacob. I'm a tenant here. Oh, hi. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, um, I, I just have a, kind of an issue. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Is it going to be a work order or? Um, well, the, there was a, a service elevator that came up through my floor. And it completely messed up the living room carpet and floor. It just kind of crashed upwards through the floor. Wait, a, a service elevator? Yeah. Um, I, this guy came out. He told me to leave his elevator alone. He said he's been out, down there since the Cold War. I'm sorry. Um, and he said he was going wait, out. I, do you possibly? Huh? Wait, uh, do you possibly have the wrong number? Oh, no, no. This is uh, Village Apartments, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I live here. I'm, I'm here in court. Uh, what apartment are you in? 41. 41. All right, let me... Okay. A, a service elevator? Yeah, like uh, it, it's basically uh, half the size of the living room. It's a big square hole in the floor now. 
that goes down to, okay. I, I guess, some sort of a fallout shelter. He told me to leave it alone when he left. He said he's going out for something. and But he, he said he basically owns this property, and we don't have any right to be here. In 41? Uh-huh. Um, there's, hold on, there's, a, there's supposed to be so, a girl living in 41. Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Okay. Um, who did you say, you, wait, so there's a hole in your living room floor from a service elevator in the yeah, apartment. Yeah, there's an elevator shaft right in the middle of the living room floor now. And he said he's been down there since the Cold War. And he thinks it's safe to come out now. He was in, like, a radiation suit and had a Geiger counter on him. No. What? He was in a radiation, like, a yellow radiation suit. Like someone came out of there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, the el service elevator crashed up through the floor. This guy says he's been living underground since the Cold War. Since the big one hit. He, he lives Do you want me to send somebody out there? No, it's fine. I just, like, I guess the floor is going to have to be repaired. But that guy said he's coming back soon. Because um, he, he's got, he said his family lives down there. Okay, I'll send somebody over there. N no, it's fine. I, I don't, I don't even have pants on right now. I'm just, I, I just, like... I, I just thought you should be aware of it. This this guy he might try to cause he might try to like cause legal problems because he's saying he owns the property up here, and he's pissed that his house is gone. Yeah, I'll send somebody over there. Cause For, that's bizarre. Yeah, but we're not allowed to touch the elevator. He said to leave his elevator alone. No, I'll send somebody over there right now. Okay, but we can't touch the elevator. Because if we if we send, I'm, I'm aware of that, but if, he if, if we, I I don't know I like I said this is a very bizarre circus like situation so I will send somebody over. Okay, because if we send the elevator down, then he's just trapped above. He can't, he can't get back down there. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, I, this is like a different situation, so I'll go ahead and send somebody well, out do, there. Do right? you have to? Can I just talk to the manager or something? Uh, technically, I'm the manager for the day because uh, I'm the other leasing agent here. You're a woman. But um. But yeah, no, because. That's bizarre. And then, because um, if you're her boyfriend, then you're probably not aware on the contract. The contract says that we do have the right to entry, but we usually just give warning as a courtesy. Oh, no, I have, I have the uh, deadbolt locked and the, the chain. But uh, if, uh, if, if the guy in the radiation suit comes back, I'll let him in because he's got to get back down there. It's just, uh, I mean, we can't have this crashing up through our floor all the time. Like, I don't know what to do. It's not like, it's not like we can block it off or anything he said he's going out for supplies okay um okay i'll go ahead and figure this out then i guess what are you gonna figure out well um uh, first i'm gonna call the actual resident that lives there mm -hmm. to confirm everything okay well that's fine but are you gonna move us to a new apartment okay. or something because I guess this one has a service elevator in it now, and it's like the entrance to this guy's home, his underground yeah, home. Yeah, so I'll, I'll call the current resident in there first, all right? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, I'll call you back because the she number is saved right here on the, on the, on the telephone. Okay, whoa, that's high tech. Yeah. All right? All right, thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Uh -huh. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Love you. There's this idea in here from Corbin Guy, and he says, act like I'm calling from a nuke shelter underneath the apartment buildings that was used during the Cold War, and you've been decommissioned, and their damn apartment is blocking my exit. And then I have in quotation marks, nuclear dead man switch. I don't even know what that means. But then I'm like, you know what? This sounds a little bit like that movie with Brandon Fraser living underground. Apparently that girl's never seen that movie. But I'll save your idea, Corbin guy. I'll do it your way one of these days, one of these years. I think that's going to do it for now. You know, I'm really anxious to get to the voicemails, and I'm sure all of you are too. That's everybody's favorite part of the show is listening to the voicemails. But if you have any ideas for improvised home security methods, like laser trip wires or bear traps or armed security guards, Leave them in the comments and maybe I'll add them to my list 
Maybe some gun turrets on the walls up next to the door that automatically shoot people as they walk by. You know, just to be safe. Or some kind of elaborate booby traps. I don't know. I guess I can't do anything that sounds like it's going to actually harm people. The security guard thing seemed pretty safe because, you know, they're professionals. I wanted to say that they were uh, ex-mercenaries, but I decided against that. But if you have any ideas, you should put them in the comments. Oh yeah, I just remembered somebody in the PLA Facebook group, I think yesterday, they posted about this homeowners association that put up a camera at the entrance of, you know, the gate or whatever into their neighborhood. And it was a license plate tracker, so they knew if any outsiders were coming in. I've actually used this open source security camera software. It's called iSpy. It's free, but I think the license plate tracker plugin for it costs some money, and it would actually do events based on whose license plate number it saw. I wonder if they were running something like that, or were they just taking pictures? I don't think I actually read the article. Or maybe I did. Maybe I skimmed it. Anyway, that's another thing that I could say. In fact, I'm going to write that down right now. Tell the apartment I've set up a license plate scanner camera at the entrance so I know when my enemies are approaching. I'm going to use your ideas in my calls and in real life. You know, I've been beefing up security around here in the Situation Room. Can't be too careful these days. Hey, it's Micro Corgi again. Hey, Micro Corgi. I'm uh, just realizing you hit on a genius point in prank calling in your last show. As usual. Something that could change the face of prank calling for good. Let's hear it. Uh, you had the guy with the towels at the hostel, and he said that he was going to go donate money to the homeless. And I think what you need to do is, uh, you can use this with a lot of stuff. Whenever you're calling from a company or something, or even as a person, if you complain to someone that they did something... You can say, well, we're not going to take any action against you, or I don't need you to do whatever. Just insist that they do a good deed to make up for it. Okay. I think you should uh, use that idea. Maybe you can actually get some good stuff in the world. With yeah, your maybe. Maybe I can. I think that'd be a great idea, extorting people to do good deeds. What could go wrong? That'd be like when Tom Mabe was calling up a fast food place. There's a homeless guy sitting out front. He's like, hey, yeah, this is corporate. That homeless guy's a double agent. Go bring him a meal. Totally committing fraud, but he's feeding the homeless, so it's cool. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to me. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey that would be just scary if I was doing my voicemail and you picked up the phone. Mm. Actually, that would be kind of cool, actually. It would be good, it would be good talking to you that. I'll need to, I'll need you know, to if I ever see you calling in, because it does show on my desk phone whenever a voicemail call comes in, it rings the voicemail line, and I could pick it up. One of these days, I'm going to pick up and say hi to you. Come on. I, uh, I show at one point where you're doing it live, and I could maybe do some prank call ideas. Yeah. One of the ideas I was thinking of saying, could you, you could say to people at shops, I need, I need help in the toilet and stuff like that. Bye. Yep. Okay. <laughs> need help in the toilet. Let me add that to my list. Hey Brad, it's your boy deep in the heart of Texas. I hope you can hear me. I'm calling on a Bluetooth speaker thing I won at a work competition that's in my Whoa. shower. That's right, I'm calling. That's so interesting. Tell me more. You in the shower. Um, I hope this comes through. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to say I'm listening to your newest episode and I had an idea for a prank call. Okay, uh, why let's don't you hear call it. back those invent help people or uh -huh. see if you can get like some yeah. sort of Craigslist yeah. thing and get like people who were Oh shit. Thirty seconds. It cut off after thirty seconds. What do you know? I wish we could listen to the rest of your really long voicemail, but it just cuts off automatically. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Brad, what's up, Big Moist? Um yep. I'm really happy that you uh, told us about the uh, Twitter. Uh, beef, not really beef, but you told us that um, some people were complaining at Mixler because Mixler was down, and then you uh, you said that we can check and see you were messing with them. Oh, that yeah, was so yeah. great! I'm glad that you was fun. Like I got blocked by two or three people on Twitter in those few days. I was just making fun of everybody who bitched about it. You brought it up because great. Uh, had a great time looking at these people super mad, right? They're complaining. Oh, I'm losing thousands of dollars. Uh, you're ruining my business. Yeah, and they're so full of shit. I used to do internet tech support. And, you know, when service would go down on people's dial-up internet, they'd be like, eh, I'm losing so much money because of you. Every minute I'm down, I'm losing billions and billions of dollars. And we'd be like, oh, really? You don't have a business account? You're doing business from your home internet account? You shouldn't be doing that. You, you, you can't do this to people who depend on your services. And then you're like, 
looking at both your Twitter and Facebook followers, and like, total, you have like seven followers. Yeah. You're not losing thousands of dollars. Calm down. I did extensive research on these people. I can guarantee they were not losing thousands of dollars. They're probably used to doing complaints like that in real life to places, or maybe on the phone where you can't do research that fast. And then they're like, oh shit, it doesn't work on here. It's funny that a lot of them didn't even reply to it, so it's great. Do more things like that, Brad. Okay. I encourage it. All right. Good for a laugh. Twitter trolling. It's always fun. My name is Jesse. I am 300 years old. Okay. Uh, your podcast sucks. Whoa. Everybody hates you. Wow. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse, for that. I guess he knows what he's talking about at that age. Hey, Brad, it's Radical Cobra. Hey. I had a great idea. Um, I know you're a very political person, but oh, we have a yay. presidential election. A political so idea. In full swing, and a lot of candidates. So what you mm. should do is call up people from the Homeowners Association, say that the candidate or the candidate's going to have a rally like outside of their house In or something backyard. like that. Or say yeah. like the they're having a fundraiser That's and it's having a fundraiser outside your house fundraisers outside the house let me add that to my list of ideas alright hey Ruprecht listen I have nothing to add or ain't nothing important to say oh is that why this voicemail is a minute and 18 seconds long is that why Ruprecht don't put me off you get a second I'm only calling to uh, serve as a reminder uh huh you got one of the best ideas I left on your voicemail a couple of, maybe last show, I guess, where the caller said, you pretend you're a blind guy. <laughs> I left yeah. my ass off the call. I seriously wrote that down in my notebook, my idea page. I will do that. I want to get some banging around sounds because I don't have enough of that right now. I got to get oh, some more I, of it. I can't remember who it was who gave you the idea. That idea was fucking gold. Yep. And I'm going to call and I'm going to remind every time... I Great, I can't wait. Call me up every single day. Remind me. Make sure your voicemail is like a minute and 18 seconds long every time. Because the longer it is, the more I'll be reminded of it. <laughs> Whoa. Scrub it. Fucking fell off the voicemail. I just... The fuck was that? to say that you have been doing great at the shows, you know, very what? proud. Thank you. You know, you're pumping those shows, like, a few shows a week, not including the hobo shows. High five. Um, right. I'm just saying, yeah, you did, I did a good, good job. job. Good job, you know, whatever. Yep. You know, I don't really have anything to say. I'm just... Nothing to say, bored. but it's two minutes long. Two minute long voicemail. I'm bored, Brad. I'm nothing to do with Yeah. Me. Next God time you're bored, it. why don't you leave a three minute long voicemail? That'll help you be less bored, won't it? All right, last voicemail that I'm going to play. Hey, Brad, it's Major Tinnitus from the Hijinks uh, Discord thing. Hey there. Uh, I just was calling to let you know that I don't have any prank call ideas for you. Oh, thanks. And could you please hang up the phone? All right. Thank you. Hanging it up. There we go. It's hung up. Thanks, Major Tinnitus. There's a few more voicemails in here, but I'm hoping to do another show this weekend. Hopefully. I gotta catch up from all my crazy computer shit that's been going on. So I will see you all again on Sunday, hopefully. If I can't do a full show, I'll at least do another hobo sode. And also, if I don't do a full show, just pretend that the show that I did with Devin, the two shows that I did with Devin, just pretend those are extra snowplow shows. Go to snowplowshow.com, click on the links to her shows. She does a live show every single week right before the hang up the phone show that we usually do on Wednesdays. And they're sometimes funny. I highly recommend it. And so do my sponsors, Buster Casey, JT, Rick B, Kuraz, Macular Degeneration. Thanks, you guys, for supporting the show. Please, everybody else, also support the show. You can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. There's this issue on phone losers.org, by the way. Of course, another computer issue for me to deal with. I've been trying to fix this. I don't know what the deal is. But when you sign up on phonelosers.com slash cactus, it sometimes won't upgrade you. And you have to email me and tell me my, my website's garbage and it doesn't work. And I have to manually upgrade you. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to seriously work on that. That's got to be fixed. This shit's supposed to be automated. I suggest just sticking with Patreon. It's much easier. <laughs> Probably not contagious. Yes. 
but that, that's, yeah, they're probably not contagious. Love Brad. Love Brad? Yes, love Brad.